Hello, everybody, and today we're reviewing Ninja Turtles. We were reviewing Casey Jones versus the Underworld. So, this episode's kind of just like the Turtles are kind of trying to settle down after uh, saving New York, if you saw in the last episode. And Casey Jones is kind of just bored. He just he wants to fight crime, and I don't know, he feels he's missed all the action since he didn't really help out with. Uh, the Krang, the Turtles against the Krang, and I get you could say he's jealous, I don't know, but uh, he tries to take down a group of purple dragons, and it appears that they have a new leader, not a new member, leader, that being Hun, so uh, I was honestly surprised when I saw Hun in this show, Um, he was more known in like the 2003 show, where he was this big dude with blonde hair who was Shredder's uh, right-hand man. It wasn't like in this show where it's Chris Bradford and Zever who who are uh, Shredder's henchmen. Or Tiger Claw has the henchmen or something. Hun is just like his own thing. Like he occasionally works with Shredder. I think this is the only episode he works with Shredder. And honestly, I gotta be honest... Hun just looks like Bruce Lee in this show. Like, seriously, like, it's like the writers are kind of just, like, really into Bruce Lee movies and decide to design Hun off of this. But, uh, I don't know. There's not too much depth to Hun after this episode. Like, he's kind of just, like, an everyday villain. Like, I don't know. The Purple Dragons aren't really a threat to the Turtles. But, uh, the, when Casey tries to take down Hun, it it doesn't go well. As they're trying to rob a bank. And I do like this scene where Hun's just like, I'm the new leader, Hun. And he just beats Casey's ass. And then Casey is kind of just mad at the Turtles. Be he is. He's mad at the Turtles because they're kind of just hanging out. They're not really, they're trying to clean up the place. And Casey's just like, you guys should be fighting crime. And then Donnie's like, oh, we just stopped a Krang invasion. We need our rest. Which is fair. I mean, I think I'd be super tired if I helped the turtles take down the crane. Yeah, it'd be a big risk. But uh, I can understand where the turtles are coming from. But uh, Casey is kind of just going out there trying to... He tries to tell them that he took down the purple dragons and the turtles kind of just clown at him for it. Because, I don't know, they don't really view the purple dragons, like I said earlier, as like a big threat. But sinister things are more happening as uh, the purple dragons are actually stealing some, like, weapons that they give the Shredder. And I think Casey tries to get it from, like, Razar and Fishface, but it doesn't go well. And Raph stops him. And they have a little quarrel, and then Casey's just like... Oh, I'm going to take down Shredder myself. And, he, and Raph's just like, uh, he's in, you're crazy. Her, Shredder's like a dangerous assassin. And uh, Raph's got a good point. I mean, Shredder is dangerous. And Casey kind of just storms off. And, and yeah, it shows the little core on the relationship. Uh, I always made this little nitpick that, like, I wish Raph and Casey had more scenes together. And I feel like this shows them together but i don't know i think i more meant like i wish we could have saw just a bit more of it because because the love triangle of them in april is just like eh. but anyway uh meanwhile shredder is visiting a gangster we're introduced to another villain his name is don vizioso not don tertelli i'm just, uh don't look that up <laughs> So, uh, Don Vizioso is a gangster who is basically kingpin, <laughs> if I gotta be honest. And he's got some pretty cool-looking food. He's got some spaghetti, some cool-looking bread. And I think later in the show, uh, this is gonna sound pretty gross. Uh, this is, I don't know, I'll probably talk about this later when I talk about Season 5. But I'm pretty sure, it was spoilers, uh, after Shredder dies, uh, his heart is given to Don Vizioso. And he, I think he was gonna eat it. I was like, ugh. Even that was kind of gross. I mean, Don Vizioso is an okay character for me. Like, I don't know. I never really... I don't know. He's just like your gangst, everyday gangster villain. I think we see him later in, like, uh, season four, three. I don't know. There's a, 
a standard episode where he tries to take down the mutants. But so far, uh, apparently even Don Vizioso has a beef with uh, Shredder. As they try to make a deal where they can use like the chemicals that Shredder's trying to make. And it's revealed why he wants them. But then it almost leads to like a full-on like cowboy-like duel fight. But it's interrupted when Casey is the... Is the the like a like a bus boy there or something going undercover to spy on Shredder and his goons, find out what they're up to, and Shredder almost catches Casey once he tries to stab him with his little blade thing, asking who he is, but then Casey's just kicked out, and then he later tries to sneak into the Foot Clan lair, and he hears the meeting where it's revealed Hun and the Purple Dragons found some device that is. Good. And we find out what Shredder's up to. He wants to make worms that will brainwash the turtles and Karai. So I guess Shredder can have Karai for himself. Even though Shredder is still in denial that it was his fault that he turned Karai into a snake. The turtles and Splinter were trying to rescue her after Shredder would try to mutate her. But Shredder knew full on he was gonna, probably going to mutate Karai. And he just doesn't, he just wants to blame others for it. And he's making things worse by just uh, using the mind control serum. We could probably talk more in depth with this, like, once we get to the the Karai-centered episode. Separate Han, I think it's called, like, Deadly Venom. I, I can't wait to talk about that episode, too. But anyway, uh, Hun, I actually like Hun's motivation in this. Like, he, I like his way he snaps his fingers. Like, he is, like, a full-on leader. In this scene with his cool sunglasses. And he agrees to show uh, Shredder and the, his mutant friends as to, uh, not friends, uh, to the, the factory that they make the weapons at. Uh, it's revealed to be like some cheese warehouse. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, Ace Chemicals from Batman. But anyway, uh, while the turtles are trying to investigate what's going on. Uh, Mikey's, like, eating a bunch of cheese balls. It actually looks pretty delicious. Like, there's a lot of delicious food in this episode. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing I wanted to mention. But, uh, Leo's kind of like, Mikey, you got, you know what's in those? But then the turtles are trying to figure out what's going on with Shredder. But they learn that Casey's trying to go after, uh, Shredder. Take him on on his own, and that's a bad idea. A very bad idea. But as... Uh, Shredder and Hun are walking around this factory. Uh, Casey shows up out of nowhere and he tries to take a stand against Shredder. Uh, yeah, it doesn't go well. He rips his hockey sticks. He finds out who it is. It's the guy. He find Shredder's like it's you. And then he he manages to get a tase out of Sh Shredder. I think this episode honestly is trying to show like Casey trying to prove he is a worthy ally. Like he's tough enough to take on the turtles bad guys but the turtles are just overprotected over him and this is a weird little nitpick but i always kind of wish casey was like an adult in this show i know he's adult in like the movies the 2003 show even the 80s show but i don't know it's just it just felt weird seeing him as a teenager but if they wanted to do that that's perfectly fine they could they can write however they want to but uh, anyway, uh, Casey and the Turtles show up. I mean, no, the Turtles show up. And then they they have a little fight. They're all fighting. Fish Face and is fighting Donnie. He, and Mikey's fighting. I don't know who Mikey's fighting, but uh, he should, any enemy. Uh, Raph is fighting Tiger Claw. And I like the scene where, uh, where like, Tiger Claw is like, you need to control your anger. And, Ra and Raph's like, control this. And Casey has a final duel against Hun. Yeah, yeah. It's just, Casey finally proves himself when he takes down Hun. He actually, I'm at, it was actually awesome seeing him take him down. And then he, I think he even gets a hold of Tiger Claw because uh, uh, Donnie actually has this plan. He's gonna, he finds out that the chemicals that they're using, if he drops one into the the food that makes the cheese balls, he it will cause like a big boom explosion. And so he tries to get it to each of the turtles to try to throw it in there. But uh, the bad guys keep trying to prevent them from doing it. But uh, I think Mikey finally gets it. 
but then uh he throws it the he throws it to Casey and then Casey shoots it into the the ball and then like boom an explosion happens. Shredder's pissed and then everyone gets all the good guys get away. Yeah, that's it's a big low for the bad guys in this episode. But then that's where we find out uh we find out what Shredder's up to. Yeah, he's the turtles find out that he wants to make a mind control serum. Yeah. So uh, that's Casey Jones vs. The Underworld. This was a really good episode. A nice change of pace after the big episode of the Battle of New York. This was a lot of fun. It was a nice introduction to some newer villains and the gangster side, I guess, to New York. So uh, I don't know what the next episode is. I think it's Muckman. Yeah, he's from the 80s show. He's also in this show. So, uh, yeah, not look. Not too much look forward to that episode, but it'll be fun to talk about. So, uh, that being said, thanks for watching, and turtle power!